weight gain in pregnancy is one of those big issues that it's been changing over time. So now we know that people don't need to gain as much weight as we thought they did. I did gain a lot of weight with my uh, first pregnancy, 60 pounds with my first. So this time around, um, I am a lot more educated on that st stuff, so I've been <laughs> watching and eating healthy. The amount of weight you should gain during your pregnancy is not standard for everyone. It depends on the weight that you're starting at. If you're starting at a healthy weight at the beginning of your pregnancy, then your goal is to gain about 25 to 35 pounds throughout the pregnancy. Most people don't have a problem with this, and if anything, most people gain too much weight. If you're starting off above your ideal body weight, then you're looking at gaining between 10 to 20 pounds during the entire pregnancy. And I would say the pattern of weight gain is probably more important and what you're eating is more important than the actual weight gain. To break that down, a lot of women will gain between one and five pounds in the first trimester and then about a pound a week afterwards. The first time around with my son, everybody was like, don't worry, eat for two. That's what you're, you know, go ahead. This time around, if I feel full, I stop. So there have been a lot of old wives' tales about having to eat for two. The reality is that a woman really only needs an additional 300 calories per day during the course of her pregnancy to maintain good nutritional support for the fetus. Instead of paying a lot of attention to the number, the biggest thing is to pay attention to eating a healthy diet. You know, I didn't realize food was such a big part of pregnancy. I, you know, you hear stories all the time of women eating whatever they want when they're pregnant. and whatever their cravings you just have. And I didn't realize you had to be careful and that you had to eat healthy and everything you put in your body matters. And so that's something that I'm still learning. If you gain too much weight during the pregnancy, then you do put yourself and your pregnancy at risk. Um, you have increased risks of things like preterm labor, um, problems during the labor, increased risk of C-section, uh, increased risk of gestational diabetes, which can put your baby at risk after the baby's born as well. The ultimate outcome, of course, we're looking for is a healthy baby and a healthy mom, and those still happen even when you don't gain weight. It's very difficult to lose weight, as anybody knows, but especially after having a baby. Uh, your sleep is interrupted often, and it makes it difficult to follow a proper diet and exercise. So uh, holding uh, your weight at the proper level during pregnancy is, is vital. It's really normal in the first 14 weeks or so for nobody to be able to notice that you're pregnant on the outside. Your uterus is very small and it's living inside your pelvis so it doesn't even start to stick up to your belly until at least 12 weeks for most people. The early stage of pregnancy is very frustrating for lots of women because people don't know they're pregnant but yet they feel like they're further along than they actually are. One of the main things that you're going to notice is that you're very exhausted. Um, you're going to notice a significant amount of fatigue. It's a workload on your cardiac health and I'm not used to being winded going up just a flight of stairs and that gets a little tiring after a while. Sometimes tenderness in the gums, achy joints, the nausea, the vomiting, all of those can be expected during pregnancy. The nausea and vo sometimes vomiting starts in a, at about six weeks of pregnancy for most women and can go on up to the end of the first trimester about 14 weeks. I lost 10 pounds in my first pregnancy in the first trimester and this time same kind of challenges. I was really sick. Um, I lost seven pounds this time. Women are often concerned that they're losing weight in the beginning of their pregnancy because they're unable to eat, take their vitamins and such due to the nausea and vomiting. It almost never causes a problem for the baby. Um, it has to be extremely severe before the baby gets affected. You just need to do the best you can. Keep yourself well hydrated. We'll keep an eye on your weight. If you're not keeping anything down, then you do want to seek care. If the prenatal vitamins aren't working right now, you can try taking it at night. Sometimes that helps. Sometimes taking half in the morning, half at night sometimes will help. You can always do things like eat ginger, drink peppermint tea. Some of those just natural remedies can be really helpful. I found out very quickly that if I let my stomach get too empty, I would just feel very queasy and very uneasy. But once I started kind of making sure I had snacks every couple hours or just, you know, ate something small like crackers or nuts before bedtime, it was completely fine. I actually never physically got sick. So as we're heading towards week 13, you may notice that some of the symptoms start to improve and that some of the interventions that you put in place, the exercise, the increase in hydration, can also alleviate a lot of those symptoms.
Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day pregnancy edition. This is going to be kind of like a trial video to see if you guys like this kind of content. If you guys want me to do what I eat in a week or what the kids eat in a week, you guys definitely let me know in the comments. So it's going to be a shorter video because I kind of want to see how you guys like it first. So I hope you guys enjoy and thank you so much for watching. So every single morning I start out with a cup of coffee. Now I know when you're pregnant, you're supposed to limit two cups a day. Usually I will only have one cup, which is this one in the morning. Sometimes I'll have an iced coffee later in the day. I know I'm gonna get questions about my coffee machine. I love my Nespresso so much. I'll leave this exact model that I have in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. I will never go back to Keurig and that comes from me having a Keurig for years. And my all time favorite Nespresso pod is Stormio. I love that one so much. If you like stronger coffees, definitely try that one. It is so good. Um, but usually I'll just put a little bit of 2% milk in it. I've tried other alternatives, dairy alternatives, and I still have not found the right one that I like. So just a splash of milk. And now moving on to breakfast. This has been my favorite breakfast for a couple of weeks now. I take some frozen fruit, yogurt, and granola and kind of just make myself like a little yogurt bowl. And I know I get questions about why I'm using frozen fruit instead of fresh. I don't know what it is about being pregnant, but you just start to like new things. So I love when the fruit is still almost frozen, but it's thawed out, if that makes sense. So I just throw some frozen fruit in there to thaw out for a little bit. And then my favorite yogurt that I loved for a couple years now is Siggy's. You guys can see it has a lot of great benefits, a lot of protein, no extra added yuckiness. And that's why I love it so much. The peach one and the coconut and the vanilla ones are my favorite. And then I don't know the name of this granola. It has some chia seeds and coconut in it and it is so good. So I'll just put everything in there, top it with granola. I love it so much because it's so easy to put together. It's also delicious and healthy all at the same time. So I also wanted to include what I drink during the day as well because while you're pregnant, hydration is so important. I'll usually drink three of these big tumbler cups a day of water. And then I've also been really loving sparkling water lately. I never used to like it, but lately I've been craving soda and this has been like my healthy medium. I can still have water. It's carbonated water with a natural flavor. So it's kind of like soda, but at the same time, it's gonna be a lot healthier for you. I found these at Target and I really like them. They have a lot of great flavors if you guys wanna check them out. Now, moving on to lunch, I'm having leftover chicken tacos. If you guys are ever wanting a quick, easy dinner meal, take some chicken breast, a packet of taco seasoning. I even put a ranch seasoning packet in there and then a jar of salsa, put it in the crock pot and you are good to go. So I'm having this as a leftover for lunch, flour tortilla with some chicken and some homemade pico. And I topped it off with a little bit of avocado. And one of my go-to cravings that I've been loving the past several weeks is anything with lime juice, tahine and chamoy. I anything like cucumbers, watermelon, pineapple. I can't get enough of it. I've been craving really sour, salty and spicy things. So if you guys want kind of like a happy medium between all of those things, also with sweet, definitely try it. Get some watermelon, some lime juice, tahine, chamoy, try it, it is so good. And I could just have this as a snack a couple times a day. I also wanted to include the vitamins in this video because it's so important to stay healthy during pregnancy. So not only keeping baby healthy, but also keeping yourself healthy as well. 
So now moving on to dinner, we actually decided to get Shomars for dinner that night. So I got the Greek salad. I love their Greek salad with salmon and their Greek dressing. And we also got a side of Hush Puppies. So if you guys have a Shomars near you, definitely try it out. I have so many different recommendations, but I would say my all time favorite thing to get from there is their Greek salads. And of course, I have to include my late night snack. I have to have something sweet almost every single night. And lately it has been cereal, so I'll just add Frosted Flakes or Cinnamon Toast Crunch with some almond milk. But sometimes it's brownies, sometimes it's cookies, sometimes it's candy. But that's the great thing about being pregnant is you get to enjoy those sweet cravings. But you guys, that is the end of this video.